Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Islam's care for raising children. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, those who pray, our Lord, give us joy in our spouses and offspring. Make us good examples to those who are aware of you. These servants will be rewarded with the highest place in paradise for their steadfastness. There they will be met with greetings and peace. There they will stay a happy home and resting place. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Our religion has paid great care for the children as they are the future of the nation and they have many rights incumbent upon us. Among the most important of these rights is to provide them with the correct upbringing religiously, intellectually and nationally from the very beginning of their lives so as to protect them from being recruited by extremists. Taking care of children is the responsibility of parents, teachers, and the whole society so that they grow up upright, mature, and patriot, and to be inclined to building and development, not inclined to deconstruction and demolishing. They have to perceive the meaning of life and face challenges with strong determination and a strong spirit that loves construction and development of the universe and loves goodness for all people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, Allah will question everyone who is responsible about his charge, whether he kept or lost it. Even that, Allah will question every man about his family. Imam al-Ghazali said, The child is a gift from Allah to his parents. If he is habituated and taught to do the good, he will be raised upon this. Such a child will attain pleasure in both worldly life and the hereafter. And his parents, teachers, and educators will all share in his reward. Islam has guided us to be kind to children and to treat them with kindness and mercy. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Verily, Allah is kind, and he loves kindness. Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, was delivering a sermon on the pulpit, then Al-Hassan and Al-Hussein came, wearing red shirts, walking and stumbling. He came down and picked them up, then said, I saw these two children walking and stumbling in their shirts, and I could not be patient until I went down and picked them up. It was reported that Imam Malik ibn Anas once passed by some children, so he stopped, greeted them, and said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to do so. In fact, such conduct teaches the children the love of those who are kind, and this encourages them to abide by the instructions of those people. There is no doubt that Islam has given great attention to raising children on moral and religious values. Ibn Abbas said, One day I was riding behind the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he said, O oh boy, I will instruct you on some matters. Be mindful of Allah. He will preserve you. Safeguard his rights. He will ever with you. He will be ever with you. If you beg, beg of him alone. And if you need assistance, supplicate to Allah alone for help. And remember that if all the people gather to benefit you, they will not be able to benefit you except that which Allah had for ordained for you. And if all of them gather to do haram to you, they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than that which Allah had predestined against you. The pens had been lifted and the ink had dried up. Also Umar ibn Salama said, I was a boy under the care of Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and once while eating, my hand used to wander around the dish. He, peace be upon him, said to me, mention Allah's name, say Bismillah, eat with your right hand and eat from what is in front of you. 
All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that well education of children contributes to building a healthy, cohesive and in interdependent society. One of the greatest steps in this regard is to teach them the Quran its meanings, provisions, and manners. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the best amongst you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, whoever takes a path upon which to obtain knowledge, Allah makes a path to paradise easy for him. Imam Suyuti, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, Teaching children the Quran is one of the fundamentals of Islam so that they are raised on the pure nature and the lights of wisdom fill their hearts. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.